Hi guys, Kai here and welcome back to episode 68 of the FIFA 21 My Player Career. Uh, I do apologise for not uploading this week, I've been a little bit busy, had a few family issues as well come up. Uh, but we are back in it, we are going to have this episode and then of course tomorrow we'll have episode 69. Um, so yeah, we'll be back to normal after today, so I do apologise once again. Uh, but let's get into this one then, as you know we've had a slow start with Real Madrid in our second season here, but... The form is slowly getting back into the players. We're playing a lot better. Kai is starting to get his goals as well. Uh, we want that to continue. I believe we have a little bit of an international break as well in today's episode, which um, is the World Cup qualifier games. I think we've got two games to cover there. Uh, so hopefully Kai can play in both of those. But first up, as you can see, we are away from home taking on Villarreal. In La Liga, we want to go and retain La Liga title. Can we do so? I'm hoping so. Uh, but right now, it is Villarreal with the early pressure and a chance here for Real to get the ball clear into the safety zone. But 22 minutes played, still no goals for either side. And we are deep in our own half here with a throw in. Let's try and get this one forward. Here is Hernandez then, who does have a goal already this season to Valverde. Scored quite a few important goals last season for us. And here is Kai, the top scorer, of course. One of the best players here at Real. And Vinny Jr. cuts inside. Is he going to go for the shot? He does. And he is there to break the deadlock to give Real Madrid the one goal lead. 25 and a half minutes gone. And we are looking good here to start off today's episode with three points. The rain is falling, as you can see. Uh, but no doubt it will still be a hot or at least a warm day here in Spain. Uh, but good play there from Vinny Jr. Cuts inside. Could have laid it off. He had three players supporting him there in the area. But he went solo and he manages to find the back of the net. So second goal of the season then for Vinny Jr. At least in La Liga. And Kai's on an 8 rating now as he played that one through. Finds Kai does and the effort. Oh, it was on target. But a great chance there from the defender sliding in, gets a boot to it. And uh, look at that, actually gets a toe to that one. Great defensive work there by Villarreal. Uh, so onwards we go then into the dying seconds of the first half. Still one goal to nil and it's going to be another corner. Are we going to have enough time to take this corner? We are. Can we score from it though? That's the important thing. Corner gets swung in, defender was there and I think that is going to be the end of the first half indeed it is so let's jump into the second 45 and a couple of minutes into the second half and already Real Madrid back where they left off in that first period on the attack here is Kai then laying that one off for Odegaard Odegaard finds Kai is Kai gonna go for the shot he tries to cut inside and almost got a second chance there should have done better but it is a chance for Real Madrid and that one has Found the back of the net, and I believe that is Odegaard, the Real Madrid captain now, um, scoring Real Madrid's second goal of the game. And we are looking good to start off today's episode with the victory and hopefully one step closer to the top of the league. A nicely played through, almost offside there, but I think it was number 15 who kept Odegaard onside there for his first league goal of the season. So, two goals to nil for. Real Madrid, Villarreal, I don't think they're going to find their way back into this game. They've got just over 15 minutes to do so. Can they find a little bit of magic? I can't see it happening. Brand's gone off for Real as we push forward here looking for a third goal. Valverde on that far side and Asensio finds Kai. What's Kai going to do? He's going to charge all the way through himself. No, he lays it off to Vinicius Jr. who tries to find Kai and indeed he does. And there is the third goal of the game and we are looking good then three goals to nil can't really grumble with that can you three goals starting off today's episode nice three points nicely played through as well from Vinny Jr just inside the area between the two defenders and Kai was first on it reacting fastest and uh, to score his fifth La Liga goal of the season so three points in the bag to start off today's episode and we've got five minutes to go Will Villarreal even find the back of the net in this game? 9.6 match rating for Kai. So as you can tell, he's had a good game so far. Is the time for any more goals? What on earth is Courtois doing here? He's just wasting time at the back there for Real Madrid. He wants the game over and done with. Here is Kai though. 
as Round Red press forward, looking for a fourth. Can I get him that one back? Waiting for the run of Odegaard. Here is Odegaard. And there is the final whistle. So, three points in the bag. Three goals as well. Uh, can't really grumble with that, as I said. So, perfect way to start off today's video. And you can see it is now the international break. Kai being chosen for the England team. So, we will be starting in these World Cup qualifier games against Romania and Slovenia. Well, I say starting. We've got a chance of starting. Let's see if we get in the starting lineup for the Romania game. We do not. It is Harry Kane who starts as the main striker for England. And can we get the three points? We do. Mason Mount with two goals and Jadon Sancho with the first half goal there, giving England a three goal win. And that's three wins out of three then in a qualifying group. As you can see, they're currently top of the league, st uh, league table in the standings, uh, just in front of Switzerland. But Game two then of the qualifiers and of the international break is against Slovenia. And Kai has started as you can see and already has won the ball here for the three lines. England playing in an all blue kit with the red trim. Nice ball over the top and the volley was there by Jaden Sancho I think that was. As Kai cuts that one back for Deli Ali. Deli Ali finds Sancho and the second time of asking. Sancho finds the back of the net. So a good start here for England. One goal to nil. Less than five minutes gone. Kai was in on the build-up as well. And so perfect start here for the English national side. Away from home. Good ball there from Kai to find Deli Ali. An even better ball, I think it was there from Deli to find Sancho. And there is the goal scorer then. Jaden Sancho, number seven. With his second qualifiers goal of the campaign. So 10 minutes gone. Slovenia still in this game of course. Still early doors. And they're trying to press through here. But good defensive work finally there by England. As Declan Rice plays that one forward for Trent Alexander-Arnold. And gets the ball back. Bit of space open up through the middle. As Kai is found just inside the England half. Raheem Sterling is going to make the run. And Raheem Sterling is one on one with a keeper. Can he finish? He does with his left foot. And England double their lead. 15 minutes gone. Slovenia nil. England 2. And of course Kai with the assist for that one as well. Good attacking play there from England. Good counter attack really. There's wide open space there. Not sure what the Slovenian right back was thinking. Massive gap opened up. And Raheem Sterling. He's obviously got the pace to run into that channel. And there he was to finish with his first qualifiers goal of the campaign. So onwards we go down. Two goals nil for England. And we're only 20 minutes in. Slovenia again on the attack. Or they're going to fall foul of the counter-attack. That one does go out of play for a Slovenia throw-in though. 7.3 match rating for Kai. So obviously in the first 22 minutes he's having a top game. Top performance so far for England. And here he is again. Good um, control, good turn finds Deli Ali. Deli Ali spreads it onto that far side for the goal scorer Jaden Sancho. The ball comes more centrally. Here is Kai sees the run, good ball there. Finds Deli Ali who crosses, who finds a return to Kai, but Kai could not unfortunately find the back of the net. He should have expected him to do better, but oh well, it is what it is. Hopefully, he can find the back of the net in this game. Uh, it's Phil Foden now with possession. Kai, is he going to find his teammate? He does. There is Deli Ali, but Deli Ali couldn't get the ball into the back of the net. Good save it was though from the Slovenian goalkeeper. Good positional play from him, uh, but Deli Ali probably should have done better himself. 8.5 match rating for Kai then at the start of the second half, and Slovenia defending well there, but the attack is still on here for England. Can we get this one through? Here is Kai. Lays that one forward. Play across the middle. He tried to play across the middle. But good defensive work there from Slovenia. Didn't find Kai. Would have been um, in for the simple tapping, I think. Nice little play there from Kai. But Deli Ali loses possession. Declan Rice tidying up though at the back. And England on the attack once more. Kai cuts inside. Shoots the goalkeeper once again. Keeping Slovenia in this game just about. Um, two goals nil England lead we've got I believe 20 minutes remaining on the clock and if we did score that one it would have been game over if it isn't already over of course uh, but corner kick 
Mason Greenwood has come on in place of Jadon Sancho. Play that one across the middle, he does, and there is Harry Maguire for a simple tap-in on the edge of the six-yard box, and I believe that was uh, Mason Greenwood who set that one up as well. So he's just come on, and his first touch was the assist. So three goals, nil for England, and that is job done. Uh, good ball there, good vision as well from Mason Grid. Even Kai was trying to get um, on that one, but there was Harry Maguire. He was first to react and scores his first World Cup qualifiers goal of the campaign for himself now. And 15 minutes remaining, Kai still trying to get another goal here. He's pressing forward. No, he lays that one forward onto the left side. Chilwell crosses, and there is another goal. Well, this time it's Marcus Rashford. Scoring England's fourth of the game. Good attacking play yet again from the uh, three Lions. Slovenia just have had no answers whatsoever when it comes to defending. And we have absolutely run them over. Look at Chilwell. Nobody on him at all. Free to get the cross in. And Marcus Rashford attacking the near post. Just toe poking it past the goalkeeper. And scores his first qualifiers goal of the World Cup campaign as well. So plenty of first goals of the qualifiers for quite a few of the players. And are England still yet to get another goal? Would be nice to get five. Cross needs to come in. Where's the goalkeeper going? Not sure what he was thinking there. Over here is Kai nicely laid off. The shot is on. And there is the England fifth goal of the game. And Kai again with an assist. Mason Greenwood it was with the finish. But what vision that was from Kai. Look at the way he just lays this one off. Was it a back heel or side of his foot? His nicely back heeled play there. Right into the path of Greenwood with the perfect finish. So Mason Greenwood, since he's come on, he has assisted with his first touch of the game. And there he was to score with probably his last touch of the game. As Slovenia try and get themselves a consolation goal. Uh, but good defensive work there from Joe Gomez. And I believe... That is going to be the end of this game. Slovenia nil, England 5. Waiting for that final whistle. There it is. Good performance there all round from all the English players. And let's move on then. Back into some domestic action then in Spain. Just behind Atletico Madrid who are currently top of La Liga. So we've still got some work to do. And of course that means getting the job done here against Real Betis. Uh, we want three points. Kai... As I said, slowly gets himself back into the form which he ended last season with. And that means hopefully a bunch of goals. Let's try and get ourselves an early goal in this game if we can. As that one just gets played a little bit too far and out of play for a real Betis throw. So 25 minutes gone here at the Bernabeu and still no goals. No real chances for either side. Uh, but right now it is the away team who are pressing forward on this near side trying to get more centrally but good work there and a chance for Real to attack here is Kai, he's got space in front of him he's going to continue charging forward and he's to lay that one in the middle which he does but it beat the defender there but it did not beat the goalkeeper and an easy save in the end there from the keeps and the score does remain 0-0 but we should have done better. Oh, that's a great cross towards Kai. But again, defenders are first to react. Good defensive work there by Real Betis. And now they are trying to get out of the danger zone themselves. Or are they going to make a mistake? They are. And now Kai's in space. He needs to shoot. He shoots. The goalkeeper makes a save. The defender makes a block. And we're still unable to score the first goal of this match. Uh, in fact, was he offside? He was. As Kai took that shot, I think it was a stand show. Just in an offside position, so even if Marco Sensio did find the back of net with his shot, it would have been ruled out. So into the second half we'll go, just over an hour played here at the Bernabeu. Still no goals for either side, but Real Betis go through and what a chance that was. He probably should have controlled that one, he had more time than I think he thought he did. Um, but good save in the end there from Courtois, keeping the scores level at 0-0. And time running out for both teams. Who is going to be breaking the deadlock? Will there be a goal in this game at all? Um, I don't really think a point is going to do as much favours if I'm totally honest. And there's a chance actually for Betis to go on and win it. Can they do so? Hopefully not. Courtois needs to read this one. Uh, but it is in a dangerous area. The wall is there. Four-man wall here for Real Madrid. He steps up and Fekir just over the target there. Unlucky. Very, very close there. 
Let's see, do we see the full replay to see how close that one went? I think Courtois had it covered anyway. Uh, we didn't see the full replay, unfortunately. But into the final 10 minutes then. And although we haven't seen any goals so far in this match, Kai's currently on a 7.7 .7 match rating. So he's not played um, too bad. We've just been unlucky going forward. Here he is. Can he keep going? He's going to lay this one back. The shot is there. Oh, my days. He's missed the target completely. And another chance goes begging. That one should have been fine in the back of net. Valverde it was with the effort. And he just pulled that one a little bit too far wide. Kai again. Maybe one last chance here for Real. Great challenge there from the Batiste go um, defender. I was going to say goalkeeper, but it was indeed the defender. And I think that's probably going to be the last action of this game, guys. Nil-nil draw. Is that good enough? It's still early doors in the season, so it's not the end of the world. But, of course, it is going to delay our chances uh, for reaching the top of La Liga. And I think that's going to be about it, guys. Leave a like then if you did like today's episode. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. There blows the final whistle. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.